Skiing on fake snow feels like rubbing two pieces of wet chalk together. It feels weird, it sounds weird, and that's because it is fundamentally different from natural snow. Natural snow forms in the clouds, which builds those six-armed crystals that we all love to see. Man-made snow is air and water blasted out of a snow gun, freezing mid-air into little icy spheres. Man-made snow is denser, rounder, and up to four times harder. You're basically skiing on little ice marbles. Natural snow is fluffier, but it flattens fast. 12 inches of pow compressed to just one inch of base. That's why man Man-made snow helps you ski more pow. It builds the base and keeps the fresh snow from vanishing into the dirt. And snow making is not plug and play. It depends on something called wet bulb temperature, which is a fancy way to say that the colder and drier the air, the better the snow output. The magic number is 27 degrees wet bulb. You see this in natural snow too. That's why Utah pow is so light because the air is exceptionally dry. Every major resort makes snow these days, but the snow making king is Killington, Vermont with over 2,100 snow guns. Sunday River, Maine is a close second with nearly 2,000, but when those machines fire up, it's not just snow, it is science. It may not ski like the real stuff, but man-made snow saves the season because no base means no powder day. If there was only man-made snow, are you still going skiing? Let me know in the comments. This is Mike the Ski Guy. I will see you on the slopes. Peace.